Hey, everybody. We're here for problem of the week number eight, and I'm here today with enterprise DNA expert Alex Badu. Um, we're coming off a challenging problem on problem number seven, um, probably the more, most difficult one we've had to date. So the one we've got for you this week is, is definitely not easy, but easier than uh, the one you were, you were wrestling with last week. Um, so today, um, as I said, we've got Alex here. Um, Alex is known to many of you as the um, kind of the master of the Enterprise DNA Data Challenge, three-time winner, and known for his really creative visualization style. Um, but today he's brought us an interesting problem dealing with hierarchies and uh, addressing it through Power Query. So welcome, Alex. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. And so I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you about kind of what, what sparked your interest about this problem, where this one came from, and with regard to hierarchies, we often see people deal with that in DAX. And so wondering why you took the, the other approach and making this a power query problem. Yeah, well, so this problem comes from real life. So it's really inspired by a news case that I had uh, in, my, in my company. And I know it's a, it's a common situation because I also saw the, the questions regarding the hierarchies in the, in the forum. And uh, I thought this uh, this use case might be very interesting for uh, for this uh, week's uh, challenge problem of the week uh, because I think it is not very difficult but we have to really think of how we can approach uh, this uh, this problem and uh, why do we, why do it with the power query I think. Uh, it's interesting to to learn Power Query in a way that it doesn't. It is not useful only for uh, cleaning your data, but it it is also very useful to put in shape your data. So it's data preparation. Mm. And when we talk about visualizations, we have to think about how do we prepare the data so that the visualization comes easily. And uh, it is the the good way to do it in Power Query because. I think it can really help the, the the speed of the of the visualization and uh, and it makes also your DAX code much easier. Yeah, definitely, definitely simplifies that. Um, so why don't we why don't we take a minute and pop your uh, your problem up on screen and just have you walk through with folks what they're going to be looking at this week. So we have this uh, following uh, use case. We have the hierarchies that are sent by Excel and the hierarchy is flat. That means that all the levels of your hierarchies will be uh, in another column. It will be in another column, but also in another row. And we can have a structure where we can have the, the group, the region, the country or the subregion or other sub, sub regions, et cetera, up to the uh, leaf level, which is the city. What we would like to do is to have a visualization in the form of a shape map where we can see all the countries and all the cities that are in those countries. So the problem is quite easy. Take the data that is in this format and transform it in a way that it is easy to build these visualizations. And Alex, is this is this the way when you when you mentioned this was inspired by something at work? Is this generally the way the data comes to you at work? Uh, no, it isn't. But uh, in this case, uh, yeah, it came like this, uh, and uh, and I knew that I have to do something. And uh, the old way of doing this was manual. That means every time there was a modification, you had to take your Excel file and put it by hand, and then import it in Excel, etc. In uh, in Power BI. So we had to automate uh, this situation. And a good way to do it was in, uh, in Power Query. And that's why I, I did it in Power Query. Great, great. Um, so one thing, this is your, this is your first, uh, first run through, I believe, on Problem of the Week. And so um, what I always like to do is ask each of the experts kind of what their, their strategy is and what tips they have for breaking down a complex problem. So when you're, you're faced with something you haven't seen before and you're, you're wrestling through it, what are, what are some of the approaches you take? Well, I have a similar approach as uh, Greg, as, uh, as I saw in the earlier problem of the week. 
in the sense that I like to split the problem in multiple smaller problems. And uh, what I also like to do is to visualize the problem. So <laughs> you, you introduce me uh, as a visualization uh, person. Uh, and it's true that I also visualize the problems in Power Query Index also in a visual way, in the sense that I'm trying to see what is the end result I would like to do. And I would, I'm trying to visualize what are the big steps, the big, the big milestones that I need to take in order to achieve uh, that result. And once I split in smaller parts, then I, I really try to, to dig in and I try to, to solve the problem in this way. Great, great. Well, thanks for putting this one together. Um, I think this is gonna be an interesting one. I, I have a sense as I worked through this and saw your solution as well, that there's a lot of different ways to, to tackle this one. And so I'm hoping yeah. we, we see kind of a variety of, of approaches. So um, thank you very much for, for being with us, for putting this together. And thanks to everybody for watching. Hope to see your uh, your solutions popping up on the forum soon. Thanks. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye bye. bye. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.